Hello guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope that you are going to enjoy it. Uh, so, you got yourself a brand new DJI avatar, and right now you know what really sure what to do next in order to get yourself flying. Well, you came in the right place because I am about to set up my avatar. I'm gonna show you the process, what you need to do in order to get everything ready and get you out and flying in no time. Before we start the process, we're gonna need to make sure that all our batteries are fully charged. Uh, this is the battery for the drone and uh, in order to check your battery status you just need to do a quick press on the power button and we got all four light on which means our drone is fully charged and the way this work is pretty much if you have four light on that means your battery is charged pretty much between 76 percent to 100 percent and if you go down to three lights that means your battery is charged between 51% to 75%. And if you go down to two lights, it is charged between 26 to 50. And one light is charged between 0 to 25%. So a quick press, gonna give you a quick look at your battery status. So this is the battery for the drone. Uh, this is the battery for your gago. Uh, same process, just a quick press. Uh, we got all four light on. And of course, we got a motor sensor, a power button, quick press, and we got all four light on. That means that we are all set and ready to start the process. Now, in general, when you get your package, your battery gonna be in a storage mode. And I usually mean that they are charged between 51 to 75 percent. So you're going to need to charge your battery, as I said earlier. In the package, you should be getting this small little guy. Uh, this is a single charger hub. Uh, this one is used for the drone battery. Uh, very simple process. You just need to make sure that the, you align the plug with the charger. You plug it in. And the process for charging those battery or charging everything on a DJI Avada is pretty much just like charging your phone. And this is one of my phone charger. And all of them do use a USB-C connector. So the only thing I need to do is find the connector, connect it and plug it on the wall. We got your little indicator. And if your battery is completely charged, you should be getting no light. But let me show you on the motion sensor. Let me get this out. I know my motion sensor is not fully charged. Plug it in. We're gonna go to the checkout process. And now you see it's going to, to the light. This is what you should be looking at if when you first plug in your batteries and once it is fully charged the lights is just gonna go off uh, before i go any further uh, this is another thing i like to show you uh, this is a multiple battery hub charger hub uh, this is part of the fly more combo that also what i got with my avada and those come with two extra battery and you actually have a slot for four different batteries uh, it is pretty much the same process as the single one just make sure you align your plug you plug plug in your battery the order in which you plug the battery really doesn't matter uh, those are intelligent battery and so is the hub uh, what it does going to be charging your battery one at a time they're not charging all of them together and from what i understand it's going to go the battery that is the closest to be full gonna be charged first then it'll be the next battery then it'll be the next one and same process you got a usb-c connector in here just make sure to get your usb-c plug and plug it in it's gonna check to make sure that if any of the battery need to be charged or the lights are off because they are all fully charged already so ah, apparently this one wasn't fully charged so you see it's going through the process now something else you're also going to need is your phone either android or iphone it really doesn't matter in my case i am using my phone my android phone and you're going to need to get this up let me put it up uh, this is the app you're going to need the dj fly app now on android this is a apk 
app so that means that in order to download it on your phone depending on how you have your phone set up you may have to go to some extra process uh the strange thing is that dj does not have this app in the play store but from my understanding if you have an iphone uh the app is readily available on the app store so make sure to download this app because this is what we're gonna need in order to register our uh our different uh, item on the package that be your motion sensor your drone and your goggles and also update all our firmware in order to get everything to talk to each other uh, this is something DJ does not tell you in order to get all the component linked together they need to be running the same firmware all right so let's have some fun we're gonna start by activating the goggle and uploading all the new firmware on the goggle uh, we're going to plug in our power cable uh, case this is how it goes and uh, we're going to have the other side connected to our battery and now to turn on the goggles you're going to go short press and long press on the power button there you go goggles should be turning on soon uh, we got a little charm song uh, we're going to be using a cable that come in your package this is the cable we're going to be using it is a usb-c to usb-c if you are using android you in luck because most android now does do come with a usb-c connector if you have an iphone you're going to need to use this little guy which is a usb-c to a usb-a adapter and you'll be able to connect your lightning fax cable on the side and that goes straight to your iphone so in my case as we got android we don't need the adapter we're gonna take connect this on our goggle and the other side gonna go into our phone let me open it uh, you can see the fly app already recognized that i do have a my goggle connected into it so i'm gonna open my fly app and of course guys watch the first time you open the apps you're gonna need to go through some of the legal stuff and also you're gonna need to have a dj account because you're gonna need to log in into the fly app if you don't have the dj account you need to make one up so from here go connection guide uh allow access to external storage let me see and uh, this is your stuff for my phone well okay we're gonna allow that djf if require restarting manual tab to close the dj flight then wait a moment and restart the app okay so it's asking me to close the app So we're gonna plug our phone and I am just gonna close it. There we go. Then let me plug in again. Now it's gonna ask me the same question. Open DJ Fly app, okay. Ah so now we are on the activation page. Activate DJI device. I'll go and say agree. And the little fan you're hearing in the background, uh, that is the, uh, that was quick. That is the goggle fan that you turned on. Activation done. Okay. Say device not supported. Check your user manual and download the correct app version for more information. Contact DJI. What the hell? Oh, that is not expected. All right, guys. So I think I may have found what the problem is. Let me open the app again. And apparently, I am not running the latest version. So you need to make sure you're running the latest version of the app. So I'm going to go ahead and update to the latest version. And we'll be back and hopefully everything should be okay after that. So we got our Avada drone first thing we need to do is take the gimbal protector off and you just put it straight out 
and this is where we need to go that's where uh, USB and USB-C connector is and also a macro SD connector now what I found out it's pretty hard to get to this little portion I found out the best thing to do is just to take the prop out and uh, this is a 1.5 wrench that I have this is a 1.5 screwdriver that I'm using we're just gonna take this prop out and that's gonna give us a much easier access to the little slot and uh, in case you're wondering uh, the prop are color coded you see you do have a little orange dot and those go to the orange motor the other props don't have the dot and those go to the black motor or the motor without the color code on it so now we have a easy access to a usb c port and a macro sd card port it's right here what we need to do is put our battery in Now, to really be safe, you need to take all the props out, but I'm a professional, so I don't need to do that. Battery in, it's not going anywhere. You should hear a small little click, and we're gonna connect a battery to the drone. Here we go. All right, guys, so updated the app to the latest version. Uh, one thing you can learn from this video is that if you're gonna be updating or setting up your DJI product, make sure you're running the latest version of the DJI Fly app. So I'm going to put this on. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on my drone. The drone is on. And I'm also going to turn on my goggles. Give it some time to boot. There we go. Oops. sorry about that now using our usb c cable if you are an android user you are in luck you just use the usb cable provided in a package if you do have an iphone you're gonna need to use the small adapter so i am let me wake up my phone we're gonna plug this guy here uh, we're gonna wait for the app to connect to the gago there you go so it's giving me a notification that there is a new firmware available we're gonna go download and we're gonna go connect to our device now it is searching for the drone not really sure if I need to turn on my motion sensor also. But it's not a big deal, we can add that later. So I got a comment it's saying not enable to connect to aircraft. So we're gonna click on this. Uh, so uh, saying make sure aircraft is power on, press and hold the aircraft power button for four seconds until it beep that indicate the aircraft is ready for leaking so we're gonna press on all for four seconds one two three four there we go so we got the beep and let go pair uh -huh. so i know that i also had to turn on my controller okay let me see where is my motion controller uh, we also gonna turn this baby on same way now we're gonna click on the motion controller and let's see we have if you're gonna be able to link it 
travel linking so click on that uh, same process we're gonna hold the button for four seconds the power button two three four there you go now it's beeping let go and pay here you go the pairing is done all right now it's gonna ask me to activate everything yes and that's why it's very essential to have your battery as charged as possible okay now it's just a waiting game we're starting aircraft I think it's getting everything activated. Activation successful. We are done. Deactivate DJ Care Fresh. I did get a Care Fresh for this guy. So if you didn't get it, it's going to give you the option if you either want to buy one or not. And now I'm gonna update everything. I've got successfully bound to all device. And now uh, we're gonna update the firmware. I'm not sure if it's doing it on all. On a drone, gago, and the controller in the same time. But we are going through the process. And again, guys, just a wedding game at this point. And that's why I have my fan on the aircraft. Make sure the thing stay cold or doesn't get too hot. Because the download process can take a little while. Okay, right, so we are about almost done. We are 94 and the process tech I'll say maybe 10 to 15 minutes and It is doing all the Component all at once, which is very nice. You don't have to Repeat the process for the drone the gago or the motion sensor Everything is done all in once and during the process you hear beep again your gago your drone and your Motion sensor gonna restart multiple times. There you go again, it's restarting, so don't worry about it. Uh, just let the thing, just let the app do its thing, update everything. Uh, one thing I wanna advise you guys if you're gonna do this, make sure you do have a good, stable internet connection. We are almost done, we are 96. And of course, God, make sure your phone is fully charged also. Because that would suck to have a, your phone die on you when you're updating everything. 99, and we are done. And right now, we got a green light on pretty much everything, including the gago. See on top, I have a green light. So we are done. So now we are safe to come out. And as I say, we are ready to fly. So let me put this on the side. I'm sorry guys, the noise you're hearing, that's my fan. I had a fan on just to make sure the drone does not overheat. Right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna restart everything. So turn off the drone, turn off the gago, and turn off the motion sensor. Now we are gonna restart everything to make sure everything is connected. Turn my motion sensor back on. 
so I've got go my drone on we're gonna fire up our gago also yeah my battery was fully charged but during the process you can see that I actually went down by one light okay so this little guy should let me know there we go the gimbals are working can control the tilt on my gimbal so we are connected and I should be able to get video feed on my phone Let me plug this on touch the little pad on the side What you are seeing on the screen it's what I'm seeing on the gaggle can I show you what you need to do and we are done and there we go you got my drone feed on the screen now I got my DJI controller too I bought this guy about two weeks ago I actually saw the wording on the wall I figured as soon as the avatar was gonna be out those gonna be pretty hard to get and uh, believe it or not I got this guy on eBay for 35 bucks but of course they are still available on eBay now but the parts are much much higher right now okay so Sorry about that. Uh, GoPro battery die. I have to swap batteries. So I have the controller. I uh, say got out of eBay for pretty cheap. And let me turn this guy on. Let me turn the goggle on. The thing you need to do is you're gonna press the button. Power button. It start beeping and on our gaggle you're gonna do the same or the power button for about four seconds there we go that's all you have to do it is connected uh, just to show you I can control my gimbal from the dawn from the controller and uh, that is pretty much all you have to do to connect your remote controller to the avatar huh that's pretty much it only thing I have to do is put my prop back on and take this little guy for a spin thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one